what you have to remember with multiplication. You multiply the coefficients. When you have the same base, you add their exponents. Okay, so let's just start with a simple monomial single term being distributed to a trinomial. Okay, three terms. Y'all know how to distribute this, okay? You're going to multiply this by every term inside the parentheses. So we multiply the coefficients. 8 times 2 is 16. When you multiply b squared by b squared, you add their exponents. So that becomes b to the 4th. For the next one, 8b squared times negative b. Okay, that's a negative 1 if you need it there. So 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. b squared times b, it has an exponent of 1. So when you add those, that's b cubed. And then for the final one, 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. There's no variable, so we just keep the original one from the 8b squared. There's nothing that's going to change that, so we just bring it on with us. Okay? So that's simple. Now, the next one, number two, we've got a binomial times a trinomial. Now, here's what I want you to do with this. I want you to turn it into a problem almost like number one. So what we're going to do here is 2x, we are going to multiply that by everything in the second set of parentheses. And then that plus 7, we're going to multiply that by everything inside of our parentheses. So all we're doing is rearranging this in a way that's going to make it easier for us to uh, work it all out and simplify. Okay? So we're going to distribute the 2x to the parentheses. So that gives us 2 times 3 is 6. x times x squared is x cubed. 2 times 3 is 6 x times x is x squared. Uh, let's see here. 2 times 7 is 14. And it was 2x, so that gives us 14x. Okay. Now we're going to multiply that positive 7 by everything. So 7 times 3x squared gives us 21x squared. I'm going to do it like we did the problems on the front. I'm going to line it up with the like term above it. Okay, if x squared, so I'm going to put it below the x squared from the first line. 7 times 3x is 21x, and 7 times 7 is 49. And now all we have to do is add these two lines. Okay, so we've got 6x cubed. 6 plus 21 is 27x squared. 14 plus 21 is 35x. And our 49 just comes down. That's all there is to it. We're going to do another one like that, though, because this is the most complicated thing we've done today. Let's look at number 3. I'm going to do the same thing with number 3. We're going to break it up. So 6m times our trinomial, 4m squared plus m plus 1. And be careful, that's a negative 4 times 4m squared plus m plus 1. Okay. Can you give y'all a second get that all written down and then we'll work it out. Okay, 6m times 4m squared. 6 times 4 is 24. m times m squared is m cubed. 6m times 1m is 6m squared. 6m times 1 is 6m. Now here, I've got to be careful that I'm multiplying by negative 4. Negative 4 times 4m squared is negative 16m squared. Negative 4 times m is negative 4m. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then 
I'm going to add these together. So my 24m cubed doesn't have anything to add to it. 6 plus negative 16 is negative 10m squared. 6 plus negative 4 is positive 2m. And my negative 4 on the end doesn't have anything to combine with, so we just bring it down. Y'all look incredibly bored right now. So the number four. Okay, number four. Six minus two x squared squared. The reason why I put this on here is because time and time again, everybody messes it up. Okay? When you see that squared, that does not mean that you just square both those terms inside there. Okay? What that means is think about this. Um, if we had factored something, Right? Perfect square trinomials, you get the same exact factor, so then we write it as that squared. Well, we've got to go backwards from that. So when you see something squared, that means that you need to multiply it by itself. That's what squaring something means. 2 squared means you multiply 2 by itself. 2 times 2 is 4. That's why 2 squared is 4. Okay? 2 cubed means you multiply 2 by itself 3 times. 2 times 2 times 2, that's why it's 8. Same thing happens with polynomials. If you see that squared, it means you multiply it by itself. If you see it cubed, multiply it by itself 3 times. Okay, but this is just squared. And this is just FOIL, okay? Um, so we can just FOIL this out. 6 times 6 is 36. The outside gives us negative 12x squared. The inside gives us negative 12x squared. And the last, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. x to the fourth. We need to combine these terms in the middle. And I like to write it in standard form, so I'm going to flip the order. 4x to the fourth minus 24x squared plus 36. Now, a note can be made here that we could have done this the same way that I did the binomials times the trinomials. You could have written this as 6 times 6 minus 2x squared, negative 2x squared times 6 minus 2x squared. You could have done it the exact same way and gotten 36 minus 12x squared and minus, oops, didn't line it up, minus 12x squared plus 4x to the fourth, and notice we would have gotten the exact same thing, it just wouldn't have been in standard form. Okay, exact same answer, a couple different ways of going about it. That's why FOIL works the way that it works, multiplying the first two terms, multiplying the outside terms, multiplying the inside terms, multiplying the last terms. That's why that works. It's not a trick, it's not, it's just a a mnemonic device to remember the process, but it's just doing this, it's not trying to write it all off. Okay? Okay, so on the back of your worksheets, I want you to do those problems on the back with multiplying. 